Our other big story tonight within the last hour, a Spokane man faced a judge for a DUI crash that killed two teens. Crime News' Shannon Mowdy was in the courtroom. She's joining us now live with the very latest. Shannon. Well, 33-year-old Jesse Rollier now faces two counts of vehicular homicide DUI, one count of vehicular assault DUI, and a separate DUI charge. Washington State Patrol says he was drunk when he slammed head-on into a car full of teens. 18-year-old Rogan Merle and 17-year-old Jeanette Morgan died after Saturday's crash on State Highway 27 that was three miles north of Rockford. Another teen was critically hurt. Court documents show a Washington State trooper noted Rollier smelled of alcohol, had watery, droopy eyes, and was slurring his words. Rollier told the trooper he was driving home from the Coeur d'Alene Casino, but he claimed the other car crossed the center line and hit him. Investigators determined Rollier's Jeep was the one that swerved into that oncoming lane. The courtroom was packed with family and friends who became audibly emotional when the prosecutor talked about those young victims. As a result of this alleged conduct, two very young individuals lost their lives and one uh, was life flighted to a hospital with severe um, injuries to include a head trauma that presented a significant possibility of death. Court documents show Rollier failed two field sobriety tests and at the hospital he admitted to drinking at the casino around an hour before that crash, telling the trooper he had about a couple vodka shots. Spokane Public Schools also confirmed with me today the two, actually all three young victims, were students at Lewis and Clark High School. And a spokesman, a graduation announcement showed that Merle had just graduated last month. Family and friends didn't want to speak to me on camera today, but they did tell me that all of those teens are good kids. Shannon Mowdy, Crem 2 News.